It's a new time. No, 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 no. Starting off the year, it's going to be a little slow because we lost half of the week, but but we gained so much more. But it's going to get real exciting real fast here. So let's just let's just do these right. There's only three of them, but we're going to do a good job at them. Okay, this one I think is super cute. Speaking of 3D printers, this is the micro 3D printer, and the photos do not do it justice, as the phrase goes. Because so we're going to hold it up. It is so cute. This is a little. This tiny is adorable. It's yeah. small. But it's it's rigid. It's got um, four lead screws. So that's kind of good. It's got a belt drive system, two belts. Sorry, a belt and a um, I can't remember the name of the, the tooth gear system. Um, it's very small. Plugs into yeah. USB. Um, it's just like here's some features. Pocket of it. size, yeah. It uses look at standard film at 1.75 millimeter. So that's good. Filaments are 3D ink. Uses the external part with any standard filament. No special cartridge required. That's a big deal yep. for people now. Compact and sleek design. You can get little um, reels that they sell that go underneath. They go into this little body here. But it doesn't. you don't have to. You can yeah. pull this out and then feed the filament in by hand. But okay. you might want to like build a little holder because otherwise the spool just sits on your desk. Yeah, the, print, the base area is 4.4 .4 inches by 4.3. And um, the ultrafine nozzle does 350 microns. Um, X position accuracy 15 microns, Y position 15 microns, Z layer thickness 50 to 350 microns, movement speed up to 60 millimeters a second, prints with any 1.75 millimeter filament, designed to use PLA 3D ink and ABS expert 3D ink. That's their. What I kind of like is this is, it's, you know, it's so simple and I can tell that it took a lot of effort to make it this simple. Like, there's just not a lot going on here. Like, yeah. it's, it's just a cube, it doesn't print very large things, but. I think people who want to just get started, this is um, a really good alternative to the Simple Metal. I mean, the Simple Metal is yeah. much more hackable, but um, this is pretty neat. It's super cool. So we decided to carry these. Uh, Look at everybody this cute try these filament out. Reel. It's like a little tiny printer, little printer. You could also re-spool your filament on there if you want to just like yeah, use one cool. color. So Anyways. we decided to carry this little printer. Yeah. It's very cute. Comes with a little five volt, four amp power supply. Yep. USB cable. Yep. Okay. All right, so next up. Okay. Speaking of super cute stuff, here's that robot you showed off. Yes, this is a little rover kit. So we had all the com individual components in the store, but we didn't have time to make a kit out of them. So now we have a kit available. So the kit is just the metal body, the wheels, the motors, and the little top where you don't get the electronics or the batteries or the battery holder. That's because you'll probably want to pick your own batteries and battery, like you know, whatever you're powering it with or controlling it with, whether it's a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino, um, a Featherboard, a, a Teensy, or whatever, you're gonna decide what you want to use. So this is just the basics. Um, you get the little rover, and we have the tutorial that goes with it that shows how to make a Bluetooth low-energy controlled robot using our Bluetooth app and the, the Blue Fruit Feather. Um, it's a very simple little robot fun to play with. You can build it either as a two-wheel or four-wheel robot. This kit just has two-wheel, but then you can upgrade it later if you like. So a lot, okay. of, lots, a lot of possibilities. It's kind of our first little robot rover kit. I think that this is a very good chassis. It's not too big, fairly light, and very adaptable. Okay. And next up tonight, the star of the show, besides you, is one of my favorite new products. Yay! New Pixel Featherwing. I'm trying to keep up with my once a week feather yeah. or feather wing. And I wanna keep I wanna keep this uh, this party fresh and I think the yeah. people who have feathers and feather wings wanna see new products come out all the time. So this is a NeoPixel feather wing. I'll show it on the overhead also, but what's neat is it uses uh, super teeny NeoPixel compatibles. These are 3.5 millimeter by 3.5 millimeter size LEDs. And so originally I designed this to be, I think, three by six uh, NeoPixels, but well, then I saw these the teeny ones and I was like, wow, I can basically have like twice as many um, because they're you know, half the size. So I made it instead of um, 18, it's now 32 mm. uh, pixels E worth. So that's kind of fun. Um, it's got a, a power selector so you can power either from USB or from a battery. It will just automatically select which power is higher. And it has a logic level up shifter. So the 3.3 volt logic is level shifted up. So you know that it's going to be Definitely good to control these or other NeoPixels. Okay. Works with any of the feathers, and you can con con Let's go there, you right. can select which. Um, oh, can you zoom in a bit? Yeah. Thank you. I can do all that. I know you can zoom. I can do that. 
Um, so yeah, you get four by eight LEDs. Um, they're RGB, they're super bright. Um, you just plug them onto the feather and then um, it also comes with a reset button. So I just reset it, so it'll start up again. Go through the bootloader first. Uh, this is on a 32U4, but it works with the ESP8266, uh, the M0, um, whatever feather-shaped item. And then on the bottom, hold on, let me get this off. Um, there's a jumper for one of the pins. This pin is jumpered. But you can cut it and then solder close any of these solder jumpers. So you can select any I.O. pin you want for controlling these pixels. So I think this would be a fun way to, you know, you, you connect it with, um, you know, Adafruit I.O. or your, your sensors. And you can have some basic graphs or LEDs um, indicator. I mean, it's not big enough for text scrolling. Um, it's only four pixels high. You kind of want six pixels high for... Um, text characters, but I couldn't quite squeeze them in. So I think if you want color, though, I think this is still kind of fun. Okay. Um, and with that, Lady Ada. That's. That is new products. New products.